Hi guys, welcome back to Colette's Corner. My name is Colette and this is going to be a makeup rundown video. I just pulled a few things from my collection because I have been sitting here all afternoon organizing my vanity and wondering why in the world I had an entire handful of these. These are all the brushes that was laying on my vanity just all across my table which is unheard of because if you know me if you've been around here long enough you know i like my vanity clean organized and brushes are usually in a container well they got away from me <laughs> i kid you not they got away from me now I got the vanity clean, relatively clean. It's where I want it to be right about now. Um, I have two foundations I took out. I am wearing the Morphe uh, filter foundation. I think today I pulled out the shade 21 because I have a little bit of a tan. And this is the number 18. It won't, will it focus? Oh there, Morphe. And it's the number 18. It's a filter, um, whatever, foundation. But I like it. Actually, I do like Morphe's, um, the other one, the full filter. I love that one as well. What's up with the hair, y'all? Anyway, ooh, I got something new from Amazon today. I'll show you in a minute. But anyway, um, I also have my Clinique Acne Foundation out, this one. And uh, I'm in the color number 17. So I'm going to use this for work. I think I'm going to try this one, Maniana, and this one dur during the week and see what's up. So, anyway, those are the two foundations I pulled aside because I don't wear foundation every day, you guys. Um, I literally, if, if I do any makeup at all, it's just my eyes. I play up the eyes put on some lip gloss or a little bit of lipstick and I'm out the door because I wear mask throughout my whole shift and uh, yeah sometimes I have to ch I change mask and stuff and I kind of don't like when the makeup is all over the mask you know what I mean but it is what it is anyway the other things I pulled from the collection is my Mineralize MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural looks like this and uh, that's going to be my powder, I guess, most days. Um, I love to wear my Pat McGrath um, lipstick and the gloss. This is the bomb. This one in the white tube is the Lip Fetish in Ultra Vixen. It's a sheer color bomb. But this, you guys, stand up. Can you bring it, please? This baby stands up to my day it just stays on the lips and it's so pretty and then this one is 35 millimeter thank you darling and this is the shade it's 35 millimeter that's what it's called and it also wears really well and this one is a lipstick is it a matte trans or a luxe trans this one is a Lux, Lux Trans. I am also filming on the cinematic mode of my camera. So, um, camera meaning my phone. If you guys didn't know, I upgraded my phone from the 10 XS, which is called the XS Max. I think was one of their first, um, big big um when they first kind of changed the name to max or whatever anyway and then they went pro with the 11s and 12s <laughs> anyway i had not upgraded my phone and now i am on the 14 pro max they have a few versions of the 14 out, but whatever. Um, I chose to go with the Pro Max and there's a cinematic mode that you can film in and that's what I'm using. So you guys will let me know, do you like the quality of the video? I did not set the 
thing on my ring light because of how I'm positioned right now, but hey. Anyway, the next thing I pulled out is I have this little Morphe eyeshadow palette. It's called 3B. It's like basically three basics. Looking like that. And uh, this you can just do your eyes one, two, three, and you're done. I also pulled out my Viseart Neutral Matte palette. This one, I think it's one of the, the, I think it's like the number one, the first one. See that? I also pulled out another neutral palette. I figure if I need a color, um, I'll grab that, but I am wearing my tan or khaki scrubs tomorrow and I like to keep the eyes, you know, in that neutral range when I do that. I also pulled out this palette. This one is the Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics. I bought this from um, Nordstrom Rack some time ago and I have not, I just haven't really used it. So I want to use it. Um, the other thing I pulled out I want to make use of is the Nutcracker uh, Sweet Copper Face Compact. There is Whisper of Guilt, which is an extra dimension powder, and Pleasure Model, which is a blush that is in this palette. So those I want to use yeah whether even if it gets to friday on my day off and i don't use it it's fine it's there and i want to know that i have it there should i choose to use it so pretty much those are the things that i pulled out because i tend to do a minimal face for work so i have something in my hair i got from amazon it looks like this okay and this is how it comes in the package you open it like this i'm gonna wear this one tomorrow morning it is plastic and uh, i saw it on instagram i think and i decided to look for it on amazon and i found it on amazon and purchased it so the black one i have in my hair currently i just pull my hair through it clamp it shut and it feels so comfortable y'all so comfortable this is how i'm going to work tomorrow with my hair okay yeah i might take and touch up my edges maybe no uh, when i say touch up my edges i mean to say put a little color on it should i should i not i don't know whatever don't really care do i i'm grown also i wore blue today and I had on my blue headband because um, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you, I am a diabetic, recently diagnosed, and I'm trying to deal with it. It's still some days I'm on the struggle bus really, really badly, but I'm learning and I'm doing my best and I'm trying because let me tell you all something. Uh, 90 something percent of our patients that we see daily, Monday to Thursday, they're diabetics and it's not pretty. Those, those wounds are not pretty. <sighs> yeah. So we have to take care of ourselves. I have to take care of, my, of myself. And that being said, I want to encourage you guys to pay attention and be of encouragement to your friends and your family members and associates who are diabetics and you know they're diabetics sometimes it's hard to stay together you know it's, sometimes it's hard to ignore certain things that you might want to eat because it affects your blood sugar and really give you a high spike and all of that stuff so be helpful and be conscious and be of assistance and don't 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 be mean and don't be judgmental because everyone is dealing with something okay 
and we need to remember that and be kind to each other um i am still organizing my stuff so i'm gonna go back to that i just looked at these guys these are my um two-faced these are my two-faced um matte lipsticks Let's see if they'll focus i don't really care if it focuses at this point but i'm kind of just trying to organize stuff in a way that will make and rotate that will make me reach for items i already own and i don't get caught into buying stuff because it's on sale or it's available um well oh one thing i wanted to point out look at the difference with the three pat mcgrath palettes it's like every year it gets bigger <laughs> this is the newest one the one i hauled a couple days ago this is the one from last year and the year before that is this one i kind of prefer the size on this one but whatever she just keeps making them bigger this one is longer the red one is longer of all three but this one is much wider whatever okay so that being said i'm gonna get out of here i don't want to make this too much of a long video because i have other things to do but i am thankful of your time i am grateful that you guys see fit to join me here but i really wanted to just do this quick video film it throw it up on youtube and see how you know it goes because i really 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 want to do more filming with my phone yeah watch that by camera i mean it would be nice to go online and you know i mean go on the computer and edit because i used to love to do that um if you know me from older videos and you've seen older videos of mine you'll see that a lot of them are edited and they have little transitions and whatnots however i don't have an app that i like to edit these videos um i only have imovie on my phone so i would love to know of a good video editor um, now that i have a better quality phone with which to film that would be lovely so you guys maybe Tell me some of the um, apps or something that you use to edit with. Because, yeah, that part. Anyway, much love to you guys. And I hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Enough love and walk good. Bye.